Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sarah. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for checking it out. Please think about hitting that subscribe button if this is something you guys are into. Welcome back to all my other subscribers. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for being here again today. I really do appreciate it. All right, you guys, so I'm going out of town tomorrow for a couple days, and I was going around doing chores, and I was thinking, you know what? I might as well bring you guys along with me and give you kind of like my tips and tricks for what I do when I'm going out of town. So I started on this last night. I'm going to give you guys the updates, and I'll bring you along with me. So I hope you enjoy it. All right, so we're in my plant room and here is my little shelf. We just added these little strip LED type grow lights. They're the blue and um, red kind. I actually like this color light. I know that this color kind of bothers people. So it is just one strip down there. We put two on the middle shelf and then I put one up here. Yeah, it doesn't look great, but it's gonna do the job and they were so cheap. They were like $15.99 or something off of Amazon. And the reason I picked these up is because they have a timer. So I'm gonna have the timer set for when we're gone. I also have a little blank space right here on this shelf but I have some more plants that are gonna be going here. So yeah, I really like it. I think it's gonna be convenient and it was just a little bit dark over here on this shelf and hopefully they'll stick. So far, so good, they're sticking and I think my plants are gonna like it. So I feel good about that because uh, they were just kind of struggling over here. It really isn't great light in my plant room and I really needed some light, even just a little bit would help. So this does the job. I'm gonna run this timer while I'm gone and they're gonna come on during the day for like, I think I have it set to um, like nine or 12 hours and then they'll go off at night. So I wanted to make sure to give them like a daytime, nighttime cycle. All right, so let me show you what I got going on, on the other side of the room. These are on. This is how I have them set up right here on this wall because again, it is kind of dark. Right over here is the window and that's the only window I have in here and with all the wood. So yeah, this little area I had set up. You guys saw this in one of my other videos. I still really love it. Um, yeah, so these are on the same. Normally, I just, whenever I get up, I come in here and I open this blind over here and then I turn the lights on. Another thing that I do is I like to crowd my plants in front of windows. So I will open all the windows and I'll crowd them right there in front of the windows as long as it's not like winter time and they're getting a really bad draft. So that does seem to help. I'll put them over here and I'll just cram everybody I can right in front of the window to make sure that they're getting enough light. And I do leave my blinds open. Our lights will come on on their own. And I do have my humidifier. So I will set my humidifier. I'll fill it up right before I leave and I'll set it on either a lower humidity or I'll set it on low. Like I normally put it on level two. There's like three levels. I normally leave it on level two and I have it set at like a 70. But I'm going to set it on level one and maybe put it back to like 60 and then that way it'll have water for like a couple days um, it stays this room's really small so I can keep the humidity in here pretty pretty easy so that's what I'm gonna do for that so that helps but right now I need to go around and check all my other plants because I already checked all of these and watered these yesterday so that was yesterday <laughs> doing that in here and setting up those lights um yeah so let's go out to my sunroom it's getting dark outside so i hope you guys will be able to see but everything out there pretty much needs a drink so i gotta get busy and get to it and i still have to pack and like get all my stuff together so i'm a little bit behind so i also wanted to show you guys yesterday my husband decided to build two tables because we had a patio table out here but it was like getting all like rusty and breaking so yeah we had these two slabs and my husband decided to build bases for them so now i have like two awesome tables out here and i'm really excited because i'm gonna have plants all on this one come spring but yeah i love it so i got more new stuff to show you guys okay so i'm gonna bring all my plants that need watering from the sunroom and i hang them on the edges of these chairs i'm gonna show you guys what i do but let's go into the sunroom and actually see how much stuff really needs watering i'm gonna turn on the hose 
it's underneath this table. Um, so yeah, I gotta see how much stuff actually needs watering or can I only get away with just doing a couple. So let's go see. But don't they look good? I really like them. This is pressure treated wood, so it's good for outside. But all right, let's just go on into my sunroom. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see or not. It's so dark in here, you're probably not gonna be able to see. Hey Jambo. Oh, let me turn on the light in here. Hi guys. How you doing? Let me put some lights on in here so everybody can see. All right, so I got my lights on. It's still probably gonna be backlit, but this guy definitely needs a drink. That Pothos is okay. My Mikan's is okay. That Skindapsis needs a drink. I know that lemon lime does, but let me just go ahead and fill his leaves. Oh yeah, they're so soft. He's past due. He needs a drink. Um, this Skindapsis is curling, so he needs a drink. Of course, my Cebu Blue, they always need a drink. They're so thirsty. Like, honestly, pretty much everybody does. The Cebu Blue is not bad. I did recently water him, but look at this. Like, you can tell. This is way too dehydrated. This poor plant hates me. Um, so yeah, this is actually a Brazil. It's just like reverting back because I think it didn't have enough light at one point. Um, you can see the variegation. Even though it's darker, I still really love the variegation on it. So I need to give him some attention. So let's go ahead and, oh my God, this one's so thirsty. Do you guys see how I do my plants? This is how I pretty much do them. Pothos needs a drink. So I'm just gonna start carrying everybody outside and start watering. These need a drink too, but I gotta get up on the ladder. Yeah, I can tell by the way they feel and see that leaf starting to curl. I don't like to let my heart leaf go that long, but your girl's been busy. So let's just go ahead and start carrying these outside so I can start giving them a drink. Hmm? Give them all a drink. So I got as many as I could get hanging on the chair and I'm just gonna go ahead and wash them off, spray them down, and I like to like shake them off a little bit and then take them back inside um, after a few minutes. I don't want them to be out here all night long, so let's go ahead and spray them down. I just spray them down, spray their ends down pretty good, wash their leaves, and then I give them a really, really good drink. And I'm gonna do the same for all of them. Just because they get so dusty out there on my sunroom. But yeah, I'm really loving this table. Um, I'm loving it, you guys. Ugh, this one's bald. I'm chopping him up when I get back. Um, I've got two people who want Cebu Blue. Um, some of my friends. So I'm gonna be chopping this up and separating it for both of them and doing some propagations. So yeah, I really like to soak my plants. Like I like to see the water running through because honestly a lot of these are root bound and <laughs> they need a lot of drink. They need a lot of water, okay? They do, they need a lot of water. Um, yeah, they just, uh, this is my other Cebu Blue. They just get so thirsty. Um, I think it's just cause it's so humid on my sunroom which my plants love it but you know all right so before I bring them in I like to just kind of shake them like this and spin them around get any of the excess water off that I can before I bring them on the porch because they will drip all over the place which it's fine but I don't want like a ton of water in there so there's the moon starting to pop out here's what it looks like outside right now it's getting dark The lighting's gonna be so bad in here. But another thing that I was thinking about that I always make sure to do before I leave is have all the fans going. I let my ceiling fans go like all the time, but especially if you have plants there, it's really important to keep the airflow, it'll help keep bugs away, and it's just really good for them. So yeah, turn your fans on. All right, so while my other plants are drying out, I just have my little water can. I'll fill it up and I'm gonna water all the plants that I can't get down, like my heart leaf behind me. So I just take a little bucket and this ladder and I just kind of 
climb up on the ladder. I have to climb up on the ladder and put the bucket under it and use the watering can, which is fine with me. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Then I wait for it to drain out and I go over here and I do the other one after it's done draining out. But I do like to give it almost like, I pretty much like to give it a can of water um, and it will drain out. But that way I know I'm like really saturating it because I let these go like a while without a drink and I just want to make sure I'm giving them enough. So yeah, then it's just going to leak out like that for a minute. Uh, and while it's dripping, I am going to go fill up my watering can and I'm sure my cats are going to jump up here and try to mess with it. Watch out, we gotta move to the other side. Then I'll just kind of tap it or squeeze it and make sure like I got out as much as I can. Okay, are you gonna help stay on? We're moving to the other side, hold on. This one right here, I really need to plant some back down in the pot. I am propagating some that I'm gonna put down in the pot because I lost like a huge branch of this and I don't know what it's doing. Like some of this right here is dead too. Um, but yeah, so do the same thing with this. And I'll usually just put like any dead leaves or anything like that I pick up in the bucket. I was getting so sweaty I had to turn the fan on. <laughs> I know it's gonna be loud, but I gotta bring everything in, so that's what we're gonna do now. Bring them all in uh, and hang them up on their hooks. But yeah, this is my favorite spot, you guys. I absolutely love my sunroom, especially at night. I think it's just beautiful. Alright you guys, so a couple things I think are really important to keep in mind if you're going to be going out of town. Number one would be lighting. Make sure that you have supplemental lighting or your lights on a timer or whoever's going to be staying at your house can turn your lights on for you. Um, push your plants in front of a window, open the shades, let more light in if you guys are running grow lights and you don't want to run them while you're gone. Um, or crowd things in, kind of like I did with this shelf behind me. I just crowded a bunch of plants in, in front of the window or under a grow light that is on a timer so I know I don't have to worry about it. So yeah, lighting is gonna be uh, really important. It's also really important to make sure that you have given your plants a drink because if they're thirsty and you go out of town, a couple days can make a really big difference in a plant. Um, I know that some of my more sensitive plants like my Cebu Blue who are always really thirsty that a couple of days they'll just get a ton of yellow leaves and drop a bunch of leaves. So make sure to give your plants a drink. That's obvious, you know, it's parenting, plant parenting 101. Uh, but make sure to not overwater them. So don't just give them a drink just because you're going out of town. If you're going for three days and they don't need a drink, don't overwater them. Just you know, tend to the ones that need it. So yeah, lighting, gotta make sure they got good light, give them a drink, and then also I'd say any kind of pest prevention. Uh, I consider like running fans, humidifiers, stuff like that is kind of under pest prevention, but I did just spray some like neem oil because a lot of times I'll go out of town and whether your humidifier isn't running or your fans or just because everybody gets them. I had spider mites when I came home and I shined a flashlight, I could tell I had spider mites. So, you know, I checked my little spider mite magnets and I wiped them down 
down and I sprayed some. So yeah, pest prevention. Just make sure if you guys have time to, to just, you know, maybe give your plants a little extra spray or something. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help out with the algorithms or leave a comment down below anytime you guys interact with my channel. It really does help, so thank you so much. Uh, I just want to say thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, all that good stuff, and I'll be back at you guys again soon with another one. Bye!